Hi Eileen Bayer, the fam here. Welcome to another installment in our anti-stress activities and challenges. And in today's installment, we will be covering art therapy and stress relief. So, what exactly is art therapy? Well, art therapy has been widely practiced for many, many years, both formally in a therapeutic context and informally among those who simply feel better when they draw. Decades ago, psychologist Carl Jung recommended coloring mandalas, which are circular designs that, con that contain intricate patterns or symbols, as a therapeutic intervention to promote psychological health. As he perceived the drawing mandalas had a common effect on his patients while facilitating their processing of thoughts and emotions. Since then, art therapists have long recommended this practice and have reported positive results. So, how is creating art able to minimize anxiety and lift your mood? Well, one study from researchers Chloe Bell and Stephen Robbins randomly assigned 50 adults, ages 30 and under, to either create artwork or sort a series of art prints. Before either group was asked to do anything related to art, they were asked to engage in a mild stressor of creating a 10-item to-do list of their most pressing concerns and worries, which was designed to create a mildly negative mood and mild anxiety that the, that the activities could then potentially minimize. Then they were given assessments of their moods and anxiety levels. Finally, one group was provided paper, colored pencils, charcoal pencils, and oil pastels, as well as 20 minutes to create art. The second group was given a stack of 60 art prints, and the instructions to sort them based on their pictorial content. For the next 20 minutes, both of these activities would expose the subjects to art, but only the first group was involved in the creative expression. After three measures of negative mood and anxiety were collected before and after each intervention, the results showed that the group who created artwork experienced significantly greater reductions in negative mood and anxiety compared with the art sorting group, showing that the mere act of creating art can significantly minimize negative mood and anxiety. Some of the negative effects of stress. If you're worried about the subjects being deliberately stressed by thinking about their most pressing concerns for the sake of the study, Research asks them all to create a list of their 10 most positive or favorite memories before they left, which can be quite helpful in itself. So that's how it can help. Now, what does, how is creating mandala, uh, mandalas used in uh, minimizing symptoms of trauma? Well, Another study by researchers Patty Henderson and David Rosen from Texas A&M University and Nathan Mascaro from Emory University School of Medicine was conducted with those suffering from PTSD, divided 36 subjects into two groups, those who drew mandalas for 20 minutes at a time for three days in a row and those who were instructed to draw an object for the same period of time. Those who have drawn mandalas shown a decrease in symptoms of trauma at a one-month follow-up, while whereas the other ones who drew an object did not. It should be noted, though, that other potential differences in the group were studied, but this was the only difference that was statistically significant. Some of these expected changes, such as difference in anxiety levels among those who drew mandalas and those who did not, have been found in similar studies with less traumatized subjects. 
So it is possible that more mild states of stress can be more easily affected by drawing. So what happens after a traumatic experience? Well, it should be noted that in this study, participants were asked to create their own mandalas using symbols that represented their feelings or emotions related to trauma as a part of the design rather than coloring and patent mandalas that had been previously created. Because of this, there might be some added element of catharsis here. However, the act of coloring mandalas is similar in that the choice of colors and the common act of coloring itself are the same. So, can coloring pictures relieve anxiety even if you don't have any drawing skills? Well, a final re relevant study was conducted by researchers Renee Vander Bennett and Susan Sears. In the study, they me measured 50 subjects. Anxiety levels included induced anxiety in subjects by asking them to write a past field's full incident for four minutes. Assess that the group drew for and the group drew for 20 minutes using six color pencils. The practice of coloring Mandela drawings has been shown to reduce anxiety levels significantly. The researchers measured anxiety levels both before and after the drawing activities and found significant reductions in stress in the coloring groups. They observed that those in the free drawing condition seemed to pause and think about what to draw, and some appeared to struggle with the open endlessness of, draw of the drawing assignment. Perhaps there were too many choices with free drawing, where mandala drawing allowed for more concentration, focus, and present mind mindedness, and sometimes having too many choices can be stressful in itself even if the choices are relatively insignificant. This study is particularly relevant for those who aren't entirely comfortable with their artistic abilities, but enjoy doodling and coloring, which is a large group, and lend support for the stress relief coloring books that have become increasingly popular among adults. So what are your final thoughts on this? Well, my final thoughts is that this is great news for anybody that wants to relieve anxiety and stress and lift their mood. And if you yourself have ever wondered if taking just a few minutes to draw a picture can actually help with stress, yes it can. Maybe that's why many of us instinctively doodle on the sides of our to-do list or why teen draws pictures in class. And if you ever wondered if a stress-relieving coloring birth book is worth a try, go for it. It appears that they can indeed be very helpful, as the mandalas used in this third study were very similar to those in the mandala coloring books sold in popular bookstores. Simply creating something you find to be beautiful or that expresses your emotions can be helpful. So let your inner child loose and get out those coloring pencils and try some art activities that can relieve stress and anxiety. And I have an example of some coloring pencils. You don't use crayons, you use coloring pencils like this. Um, they have different sets. And you just color the mandolas. Everybody should know what a mandala is. Um, and you just, you choose the colors to make it beautiful. And that relieves endorphins that help heal you. Um, before I let you go, let me just remind you to always see with your heart and not your eyes. Because when you see with your eyes, you tend to hurt people without realizing it. Um, just taking a recent example, um, just recently there was a YouTuber that took her own life because she was bullied. 
uh, the person that bullied her, I'm not going to mention any names or anybody like that, but the person that bullied her obviously does not know how to see with his heart, and he only sees with his eyes. And a lot of times this is what happens, because when we see with our eyes, we don't see what counts, which is here and is invisible to the eyes. So therefore, our words can hurt that person. And what had happened is his words were the last straw that broke the camel's back. And she took her life because she couldn't take it no more. She was hurt so bad. Please don't let this be you. Learn to see with the heart and not with the eyes. Because remember, what the eyes see isn't important. Because what is important is invisible to the eye because only the heart can see. So remember, until I see you again, I love you for you. Each and every one of you matter. You are all uniquely made. And you're all important. We're all put on this earth for a reason. Not to put somebody down. We don't know our reasons yet, but the Creator does. But I just want to remind each and every one of you just how very much important you are. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Don't let them talk you out of your specialness. Because each and every one of us are uniquely made. And we're all very important. So until I see you again, love you.